Hi, I'm Craig. Much like the show 24, this video takes place in real time over a period of less than three minutes. And this is Mental Floss Video. Today I'm going to answer Freedom Fanboy's big question. Why are there 24 hours? Why not 25? Or 100? Let's get started. The Egyptians usually get credit for the 24 hours in a day system, but they're probably inspired by the ancient Sumerians before them. And the number 24 actually has to do with the fact that the days got split into three parts, a 10 hour day, two hours for twilight, and a 12 hour night. There's evidence that Egyptians used sundials, so they were probably the first ones to efficiently measure the day. They probably did this for agricultural reasons. The earliest sundials were just made of a stake in the ground so they could note the shadow. By around 3000 BCE, Egyptians used 10 as a base number for a lot of things, like the number of days in their weeks. There were 36 and a half weeks in the Egyptian calendar, so they chose 36 stars called decans to represent each week. These 36 stars were evenly distributed in the night sky, so on a summer night, 12 rose above the horizon at more or less equal intervals, with each star representing a start of a new hour. Or it's possible that 12 was used because it corresponded with the number of lunar cycles in a year. Or maybe the number of unicycles in a year. I don't know. Was, were there unicycles in ancient Egypt? By around 1500 BCE, they had created a sundial with a T-shaped bar in the middle. It was adjusted into 12 parts, but confusingly, because the lengths of the days vary, the lengths of the 12 hours were also different throughout the year. They also created an annual calendar based on the movement of the stars around 2500 BCE. Time is hard, guys. Eventually, a Greek astronomer named Hipparchus proposed a clock that was more similar to what we use today. He used the equinoxes to measure out 12 hours of sunlight and 12 hours of darkness. This made both the hourly clock and the annual calendar a little more rigid. And in case you're wondering why there's 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute, well, I'm happy to answer because it allows me to say the word sexagesimal. This actually gets attributed to the ancient Babylonians. As opposed to a 12 or 10 based system, they actually use a sexagesimal one, which means 60. It doesn't mean anything dirty. Grow up. This probably inspired the Greeks, like Hipparchus. Thanks for watching Mental Floss Video, which is made with the help of all these nice sexy decimals. If you have a big question of your own that you'd like answered, leave it below in the comments. See you next time.